Yeah, because he had a gun, didn't he? And uh, Zellner's when he came up through the trap door. Yeah, okay. How did you do it? Oh, How here did we you are. Into the message on the safe in the train. How did you know that Gebhardt killed the Baroness and the demolition charge below the treasure chamber? How? How did you manage it all? Even if your arm isn't lame. Oh, the it is, believe me. I needed help, it's true. A messenger boy to replace my arms and legs. A messenger boy? Ah, adieu. This could be interesting. <laughs> He's could quite be. talented, but unreliable. He has a mind of his own. Wait there, where's his Alex? Plans. Don't you, adieu. I never wanted blood to be shed, but it's time to make an exception. Hmm. He oh. only forgot one thing. What? I keep things firmly in hand. Always. End of story. Oh, it's, oh, bloody hell, he shot Zelda in end. No! Stupid little policeman. He shouldn't have messed with the raven. You aren't the raven. The raven would never have shot a defenseless old man. No, he wouldn't have, but now he has. At least that's what everyone <sighs> will think. Why does that matter? Who are you? We worked for him, for the Raven, my brother and I. What? He's responsible for my brother being shot and for my crippled arm. He sacrificed us. Who? Who is the Raven? Uh, I don't know. No, I, I never met him, and in all these years, I've never found him. You don't know who you worked for? No one knows who the Raven is. Some say he's dead. The fact is, he never returned to the stage after that fatal night in Paris. So you want to lure him out of hiding? Oh. And if anything can, it's the burglary of the century executed by another thief while using his name. Hmm. He doesn't count. But I still got my revenge. The gentleman thief, now a bomb-throwing murderer. Oh, I do hope he is still with us, watching helplessly as I ruin his life's work, as he ruined mine. Enough chatter. I'll be going. But, but why? Your little girlfriend escaped, and if I can't eliminate oh. all the witnesses, She's I can away. at least destroy their credibility. Why did you just shoot poor Constable Zelda? Oh, lad? God, They'll you hang did. you and your accomplice. He's got gloves, has he? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, great. This is all good shit now. Nah. You've met your match, Raven. Do you hear me? Wherever you are, I beat you. Oh, we got the other gem. Good evening, Mr. Inch. The eyes of the Sphinx, if you would be so kind. You? The That's impossible. The jewels, now. Ian Raven, is he? The ground? Is it a shoot Inch, if you throw it? Don't move a muscle. You're under arrest. <sighs> oh, have it. Oh, ah. bloody hell. The jewels have gone over edge. Oh, it's all right. Get down there. Quick, pick them up. Quick. Wait, what? What? Why did they break? Inches. I mean, dead, but. Inches dead, but. Why, why did. The jewels break like that. Should should they have the jewels break like that? Sure they shouldn't. I actually started to think that Zelda were behind it, but he's been shot, so he's dead. Now what? No, it's just all of a sudden gone weird.
It went in a direction I didn't expect it Our to go, to be honest. The thief who stole two cheap fakes and then fell to his death. A shot that no one could explain. But for the newspapers, it was the real Jews that were the heart of the story. The eyes of the Sphinx, reunited in the Egyptian Museum. What kind of game is this? The Raven's Game. Uh, at what? least you caught him. Um, again. I saw the surprise and the anger in Inch's eyes. He knew he'd been played. You don't mean... At first they wanted us to believe that it was Gephardt. And now we're supposed to believe that it was Inch. Oh, we still don't believe in that. still out there. So then, who is the Raven? Is it Alex? She got away. Is that it? Credit scoop now, never tell you. Oh. Well, I was just going to say, I'd have been pissed because that left some some unexplained pieces, that did. Hello there, handsome devil. Hey there, pretty lady. Pretty lady. Don't! My father will be here any moment. Did you tell him about our engagement? She did. <gasps> I almost slipped out of character. Oh, Daddy. We all know that would never happen. You were Anton Jakob Zellner through and through, even with the world crashing down around you. Didn't go too badly, did it? Well, Inch nearly blew us up, and I was almost charged with murder. Ah, uh, yes. Exciting, wasn't it? I haven't had fun like that since I retired. Dr. Gebhardt nearly killed you. Nobody could have suspected the doctor. At least we managed to clear things up quickly. I would have preferred it if things went according to the old plan. We would have swapped the jewel aboard the ship, and Alex wouldn't have been kidnapped by Inch. And I'd have preferred it if you hadn't given me a nasty bump on my noggin. And what would your excuse have been for staying on board if I hadn't? Hey, I improvised. Hmm. Good point. I was afraid Inch would realize you were wearing a bulletproof vest. He was too confident. After he foiled your plan, he thought he had everything under control. He never really took a look at the emerald in the display case. He just assumed that they shipped the real jewel from Switzerland. And after my little tussle with Inch, we had both jewels. He blew half the museum to smithereens just to steal a fake. He was always rude and insolent. I never should have worked with him. His double dealing cost his brother's life. And his own as well. I'd still rather see him in jail than in a morgue. He shouldn't have messed with the Raven. To your retirement. To the future. To the Raven. <laughs> You know, funnily enough, I actually, I was actually going to say about Zelda, but then when he actually did get shot, um, I'll tell you in a minute. Let's just bask in the glory of finishing the game. Let's see some credits. Oh, oh hello. Oh, hello. He's still looking for Raven. What if it work out is Zelda? Finally. Did he have an idea it was Zelda? What? Dear Nico, oh, the raven. raven is dead. Yet other criminals live, and they are more brutal and ruthless than he ever was. Who will stop them? It would be tragic if a good policeman failed to do so because he was hunting for a dead man and ruining himself in the process. Let the dead rest in peace. They're they are not coming, coming back. Are. One more feather, for old time's sake.
I should get some sleep. Just gonna go to sleep with them glasses on, are you? Oh, yeah. Be careful, don't break them. Guess that means he's gonna let it go. Oh, Chivos! <laughs> there we go, there's the credits. Master Detective. Oh, even more Chivos! <laughs> Lots of Chivos now. Hey. Okay, so, uh, well, that's it. I'll leave credits to go up while I talk. So, there you go. That's the ending. Uh, funnily enough, I was going to actually say Zelda at one point. I was actually before, not yesterday, not yesterday, day before, I was actually thinking about it. And I thought, Zelda was the only one that was up there. And uh, I kind of started to wonder if it was him. But, and I was going to mention it until he got shot. I was expecting Ad Adil to somehow get gun off him or shoot him with a constable's gun and, um, you know, shoot Inch. But, yeah, it didn't go down like that. So when Zelda got shot, I thought for a second, oh, well, Zelda must really have been a cop. See, I, I always find these games kind of strange because how does Zelda, if we're thinking of, like, Zelda and we're going through Zelda's game, how does Zelda never think to himself, you know, yeah, but I'm, I am this, I am that, or he never... Yeah, he even went into cargo hold and spoke to uh, Adil, like, like he were a criminal. And yet, if he if he really did only think there were him and Adil in there, wouldn't he have talked to him more familiar? But I suppose he were thinking that Inch might be listening. I don't know. So uh, yeah, little things like that kind of confuse the story. But I do understand what he's saying. So the guy that got shot on the roof the first time when um, oh Legrand stopped the raven or thought he'd stopped the raven and he shot the raven it was actually Inch's brother who was working with the raven or Zelda if you wish who was actually um, Alex's father so he thought he'd got you know he thought he'd got the raven but he'd actually got uh, Inch's brother so then Inch decides to ruin the raven's name hoping the raven would, raven would come out of hiding to uh, kind of stop him and then he could get him well, as it turns out, the raven did come out of hiding, but just not how he thought. He came out as a as a Swiss police policeman called Zelda. So there you go. That is uh, wow. That's a lot of episodes we've just had of that game, and finally we finished it. It's been worth playing. It's been a good game. It really has. Uh, I've really enjoyed playing it for with you, well for you all, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be playing something else soon, of course, to replace this. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking this ride with me. It's been about 41, 42 episodes now, and it's been well worth every single episode. I've really loved it. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you watch this in the future, yeah, I hope you've uh, enjoyed it too. And uh, I will see you soon. So once again, thanks for watching. And uh, you take care of yourselves. And goodbye for now, my friend. Oh, just one more thing, a little read in here that says, uh, that was chapter 3, secret sold 5, uh, 8,500, hint functions use none, hotspot highlight use none, uh, so 8,500 adventure points, and that gives me masterly. So we re I really was the master thief. You see? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So like I say, from Raven, from me, you take care, bye for now.